Hi everybody, it's Tanya. I have a little bit of a mixed bag haul. Let me remove that. My dinner. Sometimes I had bariatric surgery about, it was in April of 2018, April 9th, 2018. And um, sometimes my stomach still gets to hurting a little bit because I do have to take some heavy duty painkillers because of my cerebral palsy, I'm on baclofen and it tears my stomach up. I'm on baclofen and amitriptyline, which are pretty common meds for someone with a back injury or with rigid cerebral palsy. Uh, I have what they call mixed CP. And if you have any questions about that, maybe I'll do a video on several different types of CP one day. But, uh, so what I do is I make chicken soup with homemade broth and then I add I make a big crock pot of it and I add protein, unflavored protein powder and bariatric powdered vitamins. Then I dole it into single servings, which for me is anywhere from three to six ounces. And then I, I eat on it for a couple of days and then I freeze the rest. And this has got a little bit of chicken in it and a little bit of homemade dumplings, but um, most, mainly it's mostly chicken and broth so that I can get the vitamins I need, but give my poor belly a little bit of time between the medicine. Uh, my weight, I was 285 day of surgery. And I am now 200. But they think that once I get the loose skin removed, I'll lose about 20 more pounds. He said my weight actually is around 170, 180, and the rest of it is loose skin. I have a very big amount of loose skin. He said I was closer to just three instead of 285 because when they weighed me the day of surgery, I had had a month already of liquid diet. So he said I had to have been well over 300. He had the exact figures, I don't remember, uh, but that's why. I do the, I call it my reset diet. And I do it every couple of weeks. Uh, and now if you have trouble getting your water in, those are both water. Uh, one goes to the bedroom with me at night. What I do, I love soda. I never stopped loving soda. So I give myself once a week a soda. Uh, only if I hit, what is today, Tuesday? This is the August 3rd. If I hit my goals for the seven days, the week prior of water, I get one soda next week. If I don't hit my water goals, and that does not include food, I, I include my water goals strictly as water. Now it can be flavored water. My mom loves those little Mio's or stuff. She doesn't like straight water. Uh, I use lemon slices or cucumber slices, and I use a Brita water filtration pitcher, and I keep that cold in the fridge, and I drink on that. If I do not get my water straight water goal, I don't reward myself. Now, I do that with eating, too, because I get to where I don't want to eat. I'm just not hungry anymore, and I don't want food. So if I don't get my food intake that I'm supposed to get on a daily basis, my protein intake then I can't have a piece of candy bar. I love sugar. So I cut it. I'm also hypoglycemic. So I cut it. I take one great big bar and I cut it in little bitty sections. About that big. And I keep them in a Ziploc in the freezer. And if I eat my food goals for the week, I get a piece of a candy bar. One normal size candy bar lasts me two or three months. So if you're trying to lose weight, those are some ideas. Don't not reward yourself. Just pick pick your battles. Okay, I saw, now this is going to work not only for dogs, but it's for Archer. If I can find the blasted, did I sitting on it? A lady that, that does have a service dog, and I were talking about emergencies with the dogs. And I was telling her that I needed to do something in case, if you're wondering, I'm looking for his backpack. I got him a backpack. It's around here somewhere. It's purple. 
and um, it got him a $1 purple backpack at the Dollar Tree. What I'm going to put in that is two servings of kibble, extra leash, doggy first aid kit. You don't have to buy an expensive one. You can put one together yourself. Go with the rule of what I can give an infant, a newborn infant, you can give a dog. So put all that in a Ziploc bag and then put in another Ziploc bag, I've got paper towels. And I usually put a fresh bottle of water in there before we leave the house. Uh, and that's his emergency bag. And then I put it in, now I've been having real trouble with carrying my purse and, and handling a service dog. So a friend of mine suggested this, $5 backpack at Walmart. Of course I went with the space theme. And his go bag goes in there. Um, so it's easier for both of us. So if you have kids, that works too. Have a go backpack for them for uh, extra things and you can put it in the car. Extra clothes, whatever. All right, let's get what's this haul. Number one, well, you knew Archer got dog food and green beans. You don't need to see those. He got a new toy. There you go. So we did go to Walmart. I only got a few things. This is for my fish tank. I had needed a new fish tank scrubber. I needed more filters for the fish tank. And you always need one of these. Well, I accidentally ripped the last one. So, there we go. Another thing that goes in the go bag are, uh, now this is mine, but I do have one that's doggy approved trail mix. I just looked up online what dried fruits a dog can have. And I shoved that in a bag. Most of it's banana chips because that's his favorite. So that works. Now I got stuff to make a wreath. Several wreaths. I saw these and I thought that was so pretty. I got several different colors and that can go in the center of the wreath. I'll suspend it from a piece of gold wire or silver, purple, whatever, you know, I'll suspend it in the middle of the wreath. So there's that. I went to the Dollar Tree. Look at these, can you see that? Those are battery operated LED maple leaves. Anybody in Canada? You'd like those. Even if you're not in Canada, these are so pretty. It's going on a fall wreath. I need some more flowers and stuff, but I was, uh, I was actually looking for lights at this time. So these are dollar pack. These are skulls for the Halloween wreath. Nice and creepy, but I thought they were cute. I couldn't resist. I lost Archer's leash in the van. And I know people prefer to see me with a leash in my hand when I have a 109 pound dog, especially if a person has kids. So since I couldn't find the leash, I bought him one, which is the black one you just saw, until we got done shopping. Turns out the leash was under, in the mom's door, it had fallen. So there's that. LED spiders. I'm gonna make some, my friend, I was gonna do the craft sale. I wanted to update you. And my friend has got pancreatic cancer, stage one. For those of you who've been praying for her, it is stage one, it is operable. Uh, the 11th of August is her surgery date. She doesn't mind me sharing this with you. Her name's Ann, keep her and her family in your prayers. And uh, they are going to give her six months of chemo, but they, he said there's no reason why she couldn't live a normal life after that. They may have to remove her spleen too when they go in for surgery, but that's it. He said we caught it so early because they were keeping an eye on it. So that's a blessing from God. She's going to be okay. So I'm going to make her a, a, not a Halloween wreath, but a fall wreath with those maple leaves to make her smile. And I know her husband, it'll make him smile too. That better? Pumpkins! Like I said, Dollar Tree. These were a dollar piece. Little bats. And I'll tell you something. The checker looked at me like I had bats in my belfry. Little bitty pumpkins. Now these are strung a little differently than the bigger pumpkins. 
That's all going on. Well, I have the Halloween wreaths. Give me a second. I got to pick up the bag. I try to keep the bags under my feet because Archer likes to help pick things up out of the bag because he thinks that's what he needs to do. And he don't have to work anymore today. Little bitty orange LEDs. And these are going to be good for not just fall or Halloween. So I stocked up on the lights, but these will be good for any time of year, like East, you know, bright colors for Easter. You, you just change the theme a little bit, but you can still use these same type of lights. So I, I stock up. If you see any in your Dollar Tree, send them to me. Leave me in the comments. What would you use these lights for? So like I said, I got several of these. They're a dollar pack. I budget in myself an amount of money for this kind of stuff. I'm going to make a wreath for my apartment complex. We have a common room. I'm going to make them a wreath for fall. I made them a great big one for Christmas last year. These are the bigger pumpkins. See the difference from those little ones? Now these could take two or four. I think it's two AAA batteries, but you need a screwdriver to undo the battery compartment. So if you're gonna get these, you need to get a little bitty screwdriver because you, you need them to open the compartment. Another one of the little bitty ones, the oranges. I think I got this another color other than orange. I love lights, but I wanna make enough that I can sell some of these wreaths. Uh, so I'm going to make several, and I'll film one of them. Ghosties. I think I wiped them out of the maple leaves. Literally. The skulls. I'm, I'm going to send these to a friend of mine. I know she'll get such a kick out of these. I wonder where I put her address. These are going to a friend of mine too. She lives in Canada, different friend. And I thought she'd get a kick out of those. So I'm gonna make her a wreath for Christmas. I think that's the last of those. Doge I bought a lot. I don't spend a lot on my crafting supplies because if I can keep my cost down, then I'm not gonna be charging an arm and a leg to the person wanting to buy the craft. And that's all it's about. It's about fun. Not, not, this is not a, a huge money maker for me. I think I've sold two plants since I started raising plants to sell. I've sold uh, no reefs yet. I haven't sold any yet. Um, I don't do it for, I give them away more than I do anything else because it's fun. And I like giving things away. I only have one. They only had one pumpkin wreath form. Mine. That's going to be made into a wreath and put on my front door. Now, these are the wreath forms I was talking about. Uh, one, two, three, four. There's five of these. They're only a dollar at the Dollar Tree, and they are 35.6 centimeters or 14 inches. The pumpkin measures, now the Christmas wreath that I made a video of making, that's that I get at Walmart, and those are like $5 for 26 inches of the green fur ones. So I have to sell that one for a little more because I'm putting more money into it. Uh, but if I'm not putting a lot of money into it, I sell it for cheaper. I was trying to see if there was a measurement on the pumpkin, but I don't see one. Just a second. You guys want to see something cute. Say hi. He's making sure I don't drop anything because it's his job to pick it up. And he does take his job very seriously. I lied. There's another. Uh, he, oh, I know what he's waiting on. He gets four of these a month. One per week. And yes, I'm a little picky about what I feed him. 
but I want to keep him healthy and his gear is expensive. I'm saving up the money for a brand new set of gear. And I think the most minimum, minimum 600 to start. But I've got to add extras like padding because I don't want it to rub when he uses my weight. So it might be closer to a thousand by the time he gets geared up. And that's why I'm picky with what he eats. These are filled bones, beef and cheese flavor. And I, I have to clear things from the vet, not only because I'm paranoid, but because when I got him, he had a severe case of Giardia. It's an intestinal disorder and he had had it for quite some time. I'm not sure exactly why it wasn't cleared up before I got him, but the day I got him, he was 55 pounds. And you've seen my boy, he, you could tell he was underweight. So what I did was take him to the vet as soon as I got, cause he literally, he was playing bunny rabbit. You know, they can't hop without a poo. He couldn't step without a poo, the poor boy. He was miserable and he was, he was sick. Uh, well, he had the GRD long enough or he just has a very sensitive system that I clear everything I get for him because I don't want him to get sick. And he does have a very sensitive system with what he eats. Uh, and honestly, I don't want to clean that up. Ooh. Bad enough, I have to poop or scoop his, uh, the front yard not every night before bed. So he gets four of these a month. This one is beef and cheese flavored. That's his favorite. Uh, these are all his favorite. Bacon flavored. They're, they have a mint flavored one. He won't touch it. He hates the mint flavor. And uh, the bacon and the beef and cheese are his favorite. He, he likes peanut butter okay, but he prefers the meat. So those will go in his treat bag. I knew he was waiting on something. I just couldn't remember what. I keep the plastic Walmart bags because those little trash cans you get Take those command hooks and hook them down, put them uh, the hook facing down on the sides of your little trash cans. Then you put a Walmart bag in the trash can and loop these handles around those hooks. So when you throw something away, your bag doesn't collapse in. That works with trash bags too, by the way. And you can reuse these Walmart bags for so many things. I thought this would be pretty along with the orange and some browns, some pine cones. I have some scented pine cones and uh, for the fall wreath. Put this in the center. Kind of try to give you a little bit of a visual here. Suspend, there's a clip on the back and you can wrap that clip with some wire for that clip and suspend it in the center like that. See. So that's going to be a fall theme. That, that This one's for the apartment complex. I have a friend who has a, the one in Canada, she has a favorite color of orange. So this is going to be the center for her wreath with the Canada, with the maple leaves. I wonder how much the shipping is going to be on all this. Eh, who cares? I like to spoil my friends. You know, I'm running out of room for storing, but I solved that problem. A friend of mine has two of those old steamer captain's trunks. He's gonna sell them to me. And he's got a wind up Victrola that is pretty compact for something as antique as that is. And he said I could probably have it, so. <laughs> These will go on the wreaths as decoration. You just need to hide the stem here. And I'm gonna get some of these for my Christmas tree too, probably, but, cause I like the colors. But um, you hide the stems inside the, the wreath with floral tape or, or jute twine, uh, and you super glue it in the twine so you don't, you just see the ball, you don't see the ornament hook thing. So I got orange. Purple. 
a Halloween wreath center. There's another one of those flying around somewhere. I only got one of these because I know myself well enough. I won't use them very well or very much. And you see in this one, they included the uh, ties. But I got some black. I know the black's only going to be a highlight for the Halloween wreath. I won't use the black much, but black is a good highlight color. This is what you wrap those wire forms with to begin to make your form, your wreath. Uh, this is jute and this is twine, and that's what you uh, used. I'm sorry for the ums, I'm losing track of my thoughts. They're running away. And uh, you use that to wind around the wreath to begin. I use hot glue to start securing it, and then you put the, and you do it like that, hot glue this part of the thing to the wreath form, then wrap over it. So it's got a double stick on there so it doesn't unravel. But that's gonna, it, this, how many feet is that? I'll let you know if I can find it. And now this is three ply. It says 7.6, no, 7.8 ounces, I think, of jute. That's why you don't just get one roll. Another like ghosties. I thought those were cute. Those are my favorites. Those are the maple leaves. I hate making bows, but you know what? I'm gonna figure something out because I just thought the orange sparkly would be pretty. That was one of those I was walking past it. Eh, why not? My mom got me some of this. And I didn't work with it for the longest time. But it is floral tape. And it does work really well in these wreaths. This is 90 feet, five inches wide, which is also 27.43 millimeters or meters or 12 millimeters. How many of those did I get? I think I got four of the, yeah, four of these, four of the floral tapes. Now, I just don't do just holidays. I do every season when I do these wreaths, too. I don't just do the holidays. I'll do one for spring, one for fall, one for winter, one for summer. And then I'll do Valentine's, Easter. The Easter ones are so pretty. And just, you know, keep going like that. And they, they're lit by these. So you're not looking for a plug-in when you put them on your door. And using this type of stuff keeps the weight of the wreath really light, which is great when I want to mail them. Another bat and another orange. I just grabbed handfuls of lots, and the reason why is because they go very fast. Sorry, I shook the stand you're sitting on. They go very fast. There's a lot of crafters that grab from the Dollar Tree in my area so if you find it grab what you can because it's going to go fast i thought that'd be pretty this one i might put on the stem part of the pumpkin i don't know i haven't decided yet i love pumpkin these are actually going to go on my bookshelf skulls like I said, one's going to get mailed to my friend, the other I'm keeping. I've gone baddie, folks. <laughs> now, this is another different kind of pumpkin. If you look, these are not jack-o'-lanterns. These are just pumpkin. So you can use these for Thanksgiving. And since they're not jack-o'-lanterns, they'll work for that. I got more of these lights than I thought I did. That's what all this is. Another now these are these are another favorite. I love these maple leaves. They'll work for fall. They'll work for if you know someone who's from Canada or you know the Toronto maple leaves or whatever. They're, they're just so pretty. Fall, like I said, Thanksgiving. These mini jack o' lanterns are cute. Here's another twine. If you're gonna get the jute to work with, get 
more than one. I got four, I think. Yeah. Ah. Uh, all this was from Dollar Tree, so everything was a dollar a piece. I think at Dollar Tree, with Archer stuff and the crafting supplies, I spent $63 and change. Ah. Uh, I didn't really get myself anything. Thank goodness my mom was behind me because I forgot my sinus medicine, which I tend to get from the Dollar Tree. And I had a heck of a sinus headache and I think it was her nig telling me, listen, you're being grouch because your head hurts. She brought it for me because I had forgotten it. So uh, you can also, and I get triple antibiotic ointment. I get like four tubes because I keep it around for both me and him. You can use it, dogs. Sometimes they'll get a callus or, you know, cut on their paw or whatever. So you can use that too. But, so it wasn't, it, you know, like I said, it wasn't much, but it was much. Because, it's, you know, I had to get stuff to clean the fish tank. It looks awful. So I'm not going to show it to you right now because I don't like the way it looks. That's tonight's project. And every night I do cleaning of some sort before bed be at the fish tank or dusting or mopping and sweeping one night. That way I'm not doing it all, but by the end of the week, the whole apartment's been scrubbed. That's how I do it. So I hope you enjoyed our haul and have a good night. Bye everybody.